everyone, welcome back to another episode of It's All Eats. You know I love Greek food. Finally, we're doing you Ross's lad. Finally, listen, we're starting here, we're in Elwood. I don't know how to say this place, Giradico, Giradico, whatever it is, right? It's gone on the list. We're going from here. We're looking for the best Euros in Dalichu, Zeus. Then we're going to the Euros shop in Marikville, right? That's the OG one in my area. Then we're going to the Suvlaki bar. It's a fucking bar, mate, and it's in Brighton. Right, I'm getting proper lamb euros, tzatziki on it, everything. I'm Jade, I'm in my soccer rouge jersey, lad. It's got my name on the back, but I'll tell you something, cuz. They're not gonna see the name until it's too late. I'm gonna walk in, they're gonna think I'm Bresciano, and I'm gonna walk out and they're gonna see Agnos on the back, and they're gonna be like, no! But it's too late, brother, later, wait here. But I forgot to say too, I ordered a Greek salad because I'm judging their Greekness, cuz. And me, I'm a connoisseur of Greek salads. The cheese, the peppers, the style of olive. What olive it is, this and that. Oh, but they got no lamb. I don't know about that, cuz. So I end up getting a chicken euros, tzatziki, everything on it. Greek salad on the side, bottle of water. Can't remember what it costs, to be honest. I'll have to check my uh, phone and I'll show you what it costs. 20 something. 2750. Rah. I try to walk away full casual lad. <laughs> Me, I wanna run, bruh. Yeah, Jed, I get with great food, lad. Their salad look full the G cars, I'm not gonna lie. We gotta be full higher quay, lad, because their back door's there, lad. But there was no lamb, but still, it was 2750 with a salad cars. Pouring out tzatziki, let me taste this tzatziki cars. Hectic, proper strong tzatziki. You know, sometimes you get the full Aussie version, tastes like yogurt, cuz. But sometimes it tastes like sour cream. What are you talking about? Oh, look at this, lad. You know one thing, though? I'm not gonna lie. I don't like chips on a Euros, cuz. I know it's part of the parcel, right? But I'm just putting that out there, cuz. But anyway, let's continue. Oh, bruh. Look at that. Oh, lad, that's so hectic. Mmm, brother, that's gun. That is a gun, Euros. Heaps of meat. Bread's toasted nice. Tzatziki is strong. Hectic. Bro, I'm going to eat this whole thing, lad. Wow. That Euros is gun. Hey, old postman over here, bro. Look how postman rocks up, bro. Like, full Robocop. Hey, doing, bro? <laughs> bro, look at this. Brother, you know what I love, cuz? When the Greek salad has the proper peppers, brother. What do you mean, cuz? If your Greek salad ain't got that, cuz, you ain't rocking properly. This is the make or break, cuz. The quality of the olive. Brother, this place is hectic. Proper olive, proper calamara, pickled properly. The peppers are gone. And the cheese, I've got to taste the cheese. The feta's a bit light, but still, at least it's Greek style crumbly. What a starting point, bro. You know, honestly, I prefer white onion in Greek salad. White onion, cuz. Even in Santorini, they put the onion, they put white onion in the Greek salad. Oh, here, a mad chunk of the cheese. No, nah, no, nah. I retract that, cuz. The cheese is very tasty. I just had a small bit, I retract that. Wow, what a feed, lad. You know when I go somewhere now, and they put extra tissues? I swear I get paranoid, they know it's me, cuz. I'm the big tissue Nazi, lad. <laughs> Look, I don't know if I'm being biased, cuz all Greek food, I just froth it, lad. But cuz, straight out, what a feed. I wish the calamatos weren't pitted, or like unpitted ones, but the taste wasn't compromised. When you pit the calamara, it loses some of its proper flavor because the pickle goes into the middle and absorbs the flesh because it's exposed. So you find them to be sometimes taste too much like the pickle and not enough like the calamara. But that was done all right, cuz. Oh, wow. But that place, what's it called? Giradiko? Gun. That's gun. I'll tell you one thing though. I'm a little bit disappointed there's no lamb, cuz. You know, cuz, like, you need the lamb, you're Ospada. If that was lamb, 
I would have been bouncing off the walls. I would have stopped the show now, I would have went home, cars, and I would have released it. That's it. But it's chicken. So I've got to decide now whether I continue to do chicken everywhere to keep it a fair comparison. I don't believe so. I believe if you don't have lamb, that's your issue. And if someone else has lamb, it just chumps you, lad. Like a juicy lamb Euros car. So if the next place has lamb, I'm getting lamb, but that's the way. Where are we off to now? Dali Chill, Zeus, brother. Zeus is the franchise. We're chucking the franchise in, brother. Zeus. Is it going to hold up the year of Dico? I, I don't know, cuz. Let's, let's go, go, let's go. Hello, stop for a red side test. You got your license. Yup. Cool. Sleeping anyway. It's alright. Right. I just like to inform you that I'm, I have a body worn camera and everything you say is on the body yeah, worn camera no and this and that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we are, Dali Chill. We're at Zeus cars. Old franchise Zeus. It's getting loud. The truck coming. I'll go before the truck comes. Hopefully, they got Greek salads here. Remember. If they got lamb, I'm getting lamb. It's the other shop's fault that they only had pork and chicken, right? So if there's lamb here, lamb souvlaki, extra tzatziki, Greek salad, let's go. And a bottle of water, 27.50 the last one. You can stand here, they won't see you. We're around the corner, all right? So I've got the same thing. Uh, they call it pizza, zimmy pizza. They got lamb, all right? $27, lamb euros. Tzatziki on it, Greek salad, and a bottle of water. Same price as the last place. So we'll suss out the difference in quality for the same price for the same thing. I'm glad they're the same price because then we can really just judge the quality, you know? Anyway, that's enough. I didn't need two cameras for that. Par lad! Fucking par lad! What do you mean? I thought I was Marco Bresciano. We'll go around, bro. Well, yeah, you do, mate. We'll go around the corner, cuz, because it's too busy here. You know, superstar, no, you know, you know, nay. I'll tell you one thing in there, it's very like, it's like if it wasn't Greek food on the menu, you wouldn't know that you're in a Greek place. Look at the Ibis. Hey, he's off. Ibis is like little dinosaurs, bro. Best birds. Little Tyrannosaurus Rex. We're at the back of it. <laughs> We're literally at the back of the store, cuz. We walked around, a full maneuver. No way there's a crate, cuz. No way there's a crate. Stay down there, brother. What are you, a rapist? Follow me up the lane. I'll kick your eyes, bruh. All right, bruh. Let's see what we all gave. How funny is that? We've done a full loop. Come to the back of the store. So $27.50. Automatically, let's look at their salad. Half the size of the other place. The tomato was all right. Yeah, it's got the same one there. Herbs. Slightly dressed. Bro, it's nice. Let me get to this cheese. Wow. Brother, the calamatas, they're not colossal calamatas, they're smaller ones, they're unpitted. Let me test this. Brother, that's a good Greek salad. It's half the size and it doesn't have the peppers, but cuz I'm surprised by that. I swear to God, I'm surprised by that. The olives are better than the last place. The feta is better than the last place. But it's small and it doesn't have peppers, so I don't know, cuz. They're about equal on Greek salad. But well, that was all right, cuz. All right, let's try their lamb. And they got lamb, cuz. I'm not gonna lie, I thought we're coming to Zeus and we're gonna have a laugh. When you heard that Zeus was on the list, or you viewing that, did you not think like, oh, look at this city, he's going to Zeus? I thought it too, but you know, I always give the franchise to compare. Because how rich are you when no one's poor? You know what I mean? How tall are you when no one's short? How good is something when you don't have a comparative point? That's why I do that. Let's have a look at these cars. All right, there's chips on it again. That chip was nice. Are you getting the B-rolls of the food cars? I'll kick you in the mouth, brother. What's wrong with you? Lamb cars. Let me get a few of the chips off it before I give... Those chips are soaking up tzatziki, so we'll leave it on. Let me, let me taste this, bro. Let me taste this. The chips are nicer than the last place. They're seasoned nice and it suits the Euros well. It has lamb. The last place didn't. The tzatziki is not as good. 
there's not as much. It's not as strong. It feels like a bodgy tzatziki. Feels like the tzatziki you get at, you know when you go and buy a hummus or an eggplant dip and one's called tzatziki, it feels like you put that on there. It doesn't feel like home done tzatziki. It doesn't have the, 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 the tang of, of a yogurt. It doesn't have the strength of the garlic with the cucumber undertone, it doesn't have that. But it's okay. The bread is a lot, it feels a lot more doughy. The other place, the bread felt a bit firmer and was toasted a bit nicer. Was it like, had a crisper feel. It felt good. This is softer, doughier. Maybe not cooked as well. What's the lamb like, brother? The lamb's all right, cuz. It's real lamb. It's not like kebab meat lamb. You shave it off the, the thing. It's real lamb, cuz. Well. Mm. What an olive, bro. What an olive. That's harder than I thought. Price is exactly the same. This Greek salad was good. The feta was mad. The olives are mad. It's a bit small. Doesn't have the peppers. The gyros, this had lamb, was good lamb. Was a good quality gyros, I'm not gonna lie. Was it better than the last gyros? It wasn't. It was second to the last gyros. I think the, the salads equal themselves out. If not, the other salad was a bit better. Peppers, double the size. It's not much difference, but it is a difference. I think it's second place right now. I think first place right now is Giradico. This is second bar, not getting pumped. It's like Giradico's here. Zeus is here, cuz. You know what I mean? Zeus might end up in second or third place. Who knows? Where we off to now? Oh. The big competition next, we're going to the Euro shop on Illawarra Road, Murrayville. That's Sydney famous, brother. We're going there now, let's cut, but let's go. All right, we're across the road from the Euro shop on Illawarra Road. We're hiding in the church. I'm not gonna lie, we're in the church grounds. Hidden, but it's a perfect position. You can see behind us, they can't see us. Can they see us? Bro, they can actually, it's actually really noticeable. Stop it now. Turn your lights off, this and that. Oh, maneuver, cuz. Let's go around the eyes saying that, bro. What do you want, they lad? Is there a posse? There's a posse here, cuz. All right, listen. Here, bro, it was $25, but cash only, but they provide their own ATM there, but. It's a $2.50 surcharge because it's not part of your bank, so it all equals out the same. $27.50, including the fucking ATM they got there, but so let's suss it out. You can't see any foreskins? All right, we're gonna start on the salad again straight away, cuz. All right, this is big guys, back to the size. Oh, lad, this is good. I can see this is good. Look, the calamaras are pitted and they look a bit Nah, that's a beautiful olive, brother. They're the smaller, lighter colored calamaras. Oh, wow. The feta, they don't crumble it, they still put it in chunks. Olive oil over the whole thing. Look at the olive oil. Bro, that feta is gone. The whole salad, salted, heaps of olive oil. Oh my God. Oh. It's so salted. And for the salt, the herbs, it's so salted. You know your Greek salad, it's supposed to be salty. It's what people don't know. The Greek salad's supposed to be salty. In Santorini, I used to go every day up to the cafe in the morning Greek salad with the Euro, same feed. The same feed, what are you talking about? This was my breakfast every day in Santorini. The Greek salads over there, they, they come with capers in it and they're salty as, but it's hectic. Well, what's this noise? Just a humming forever. I can't, what the, what is that noise, bro? I'm drinking the olive oil, bro, what do you mean? Salty, vinegary olive oil, cuz. That olive oil is the best too, brother. One day I'm gonna do it's all eight olive oils. <laughs> but this Euros is double the size. I'm gonna tell you straight off the bat. Lamb Euros, of course. Oh my God. Lad. Bro. Oh my god, boys. But what the f how much me, cuz? Half the lamb's on here, cuz. Relax, I'm yelling in the church. Sorry, father. Oh. Oh. Lad. The lamb is offered. 
hops, cuz. Couldn't have any more flavor. Shits on the lamb at the last place. The bread, it's not the small, thick pita. It's the larger, thinner one, or more like a lab bread. The salad is seasoned, it's zesty on there, it's hectic, the tzatziki is strong. That is the best, that's the best one by far. Oh my God. Look at the size of it. It's bigger than a Vietnamese pork roll, but full of goodness. Pork rolls are full of rubbish, cuz. Who's gonna lie about that? Not me. When I went in there, so basic. Just the most basic Greek menu. Five things of meat going. Pork, beef, lamb, chicken. I don't know what the fifth meat is. Horse. What can I say? I have to save some room for Brighton. Bro, look at that. Look at that! That's the goodness, that part. Bro, wow! I can only eat half of it. The other ones I could polish, I can only eat half of this one. I would be full off one. The other ones I could eat 15. Let me wash myself. Bro, look at it. Wow. Wow. Heaps of oil in it. The best, cuz. When you get a good quality olive oil, put it over everything. Every single thing you eat, chuck it on it, trust me. The Euro shop on Illawarra Road, now that is winning by far. That is winning by far. That's first place so far. The size of it, the quality of it, the taste of it, it was just gone. That tasted closest to the ones I get in Greece so far. That tasted closest to the ones in Greece so far. That was gone, bruh. That's winning by far. Yiradiko coming second. Zeus coming third. Where are we off to now? Brighton Lee Sands, Suvlaki Bar. Let's go. Suvlaki Bar, let's go. All right, here, change of plan. We went all the way to Brighton and Suvlaki Bar. And guess what, mate? You said you were open on Google and you were closed, right? But lucky for us, Another one at the top of the list was Euros Mania down the street in Ramsgate. One street away, and it was pretty much equal on the list. So, lucky for us, stay here. Euros Mania, it's even got Euros in the in the name, right? The other one had Suvlakia in the name, so it didn't make sense. Bruh, let's oge. Hey, oh crates, brother, look. Hey, old Anjos crates, lad, sitting there waiting for me. That was not a setup. They were already there. Listen, you know what else I forgot to say? You know the last place. <laughs> We're keeping that in, bruh. We're keeping that in. You know the last place I went to? You know what else they done good? They didn't put chips in their cars. You know the other places it was full of chips? Was it full of chips there, brother? It's full of meat, cuz this ouge. Hey. Uh, the Buru Munchers Association. Western Sydney Buru Munchers Association. Well, you better get out there. You don't want to get filmed. Don't hang around. All right? Otherwise, you're going to be part of the Buru Munchers. <laughs> if she comes back, film her. <laughs> All right, well, but anyway, back to this. Yes, the last one had no chips. What's that? All right. Mm. Salted, herb. All right, beautiful, let's go. Test the cheese. Oh, perfect Greek style feta. Test an olive. Still with the seed. Mm. I don't like those olives. Look, one more bit of cheese. And I dropped it. No! I'm gonna say this, the whole Greek salad, look, in one half of a pepper. The Greek salad's a big size, two pieces of the pepper, two pieces of cheese, one olive, two olives, and one half of a pepper. The rest, tomatoes and cucumbers. That's not good enough. You can't get a Greek salad and the whole thing's tomato. It has to have a lot of olive oil, has to have peppers, has to have cheese, has to have good olives. If you're gonna have a a Greek salad this size, you want at least, at least six, seven olives in it. I'd put 10, not, not two. I'm disappointed in that, but we'll see the Euros. All right, it's one of the other ones, you know, with the smaller ones with the chips. Try a chip. The, the chip tastes old, cuz. Tastes like it was cooked long before I got there. I don't like that. And they didn't have lamb there, all right? Look, I'm not trying to hate on it hard. They didn't have lamb either, they had chicken. Let me throw these chips off because they're not going to add any value to it. All right, decent amount of meat. It's a good amount of meat. The chicken, not much tzatziki, not a lot, I can see. It's all right. I don't know. It's all right. 
if I didn't just have three other Eurosas and I just wanted a Euros and I came here and I wouldn't know any better, it said, all right, Euros. It's nothing I'd ever tell my mates about. That's last place. That's last place. The salad was not enough of the good stuff. There's not enough of the good stuff, sorry. Is it even oiled, barely oiled? Not enough of the good stuff in the salad. Come on, bro, I like that. The chips were cold, they were sort of limp. They weren't seasoned nice. The meat was meh, no tzatziki taste, no saucy taste. It tastes like a plain chicken kebab, cuz. That's what it tastes like, a chicken kebab without sauce. Straight out, that's, that's coming last. The winner by far is Euro Shop. I can't even express to you how far ahead that Euro Shop is. Well, that's hectic. Mad everything. Yiradiko, I guess that's how to say it in Elwood. I'll put that second, right? That was mad. Gun salad, this and that. That's second. Zeus, third. Zeus, third ahead of this. Euros Mania, sorry mates, but you're coming last, brother. You're behind Zeus. That's it. That's best Euros. That's it. Old Anios has settled it, lad. That's it. What do you reckon? Hey, what do you put it? Laters.